Hello, I'm Representative Martha Roby. It is a great honor to speak to you today about the challenges our country faces. I do so not only as a representative of Alabama's 2nd Congressional District, but also as a mother concerned about the future for my kids and yours. I can't begin to tell you how many times I've gone to the grocery store and found myself in a conversation about the price of gas, the cost of going to the doctor, or about how hard it is to get a business going and keep jobs in our area. The sad conclusion of these conversations is that Washington is a part of the problem. It is failing to promote policies that will put our economy on a path to prosperity. The price of gas is a good example, and a timely one, too. Year after year, politicians in Washington talk about steps to ease the pain at the pump, but they never act. It hit home this spring when the president promoted Brazilian-made energy in Brazil while his administration keeps our resources here at home under lock and key. I'm pleased to report the House has passed several measures designed to expand domestic energy production to help address the soaring gas prices. This is also important because when we're talking about energy, we're talking about jobs. The cost of energy is directly related to the cost of hiring workers and running a business. The cost of government is also hurting our economy. Washington's failure to enact policies that promote long-term economic growth and balance the budget is creating uncertainty for employers and consumers alike. For years now, Washington has kicked the can down the road without facing up to its spending addiction. Not anymore. The big spenders have been put on notice and are on retreat. The American people reject the idea of giving Washington a blank check to increase the debt limit. The House is listening. Republicans have made clear that there will be no increase in the national debt limit unless it is accompanied by significant spending reforms that truly change the culture of spending in Washington. To get there, everything should be on the table. Everything. That is, except tax increases. We cannot tax the same people we expect to create jobs. That is a recipe for keeping people out of work. The threat of tax hikes, along with the torrent of rules and regulations coming out of Washington, has employers sitting on their hands at the worst possible time. The Republican budget put forward by Chairman Paul Ryan ends the threat of job-crushing tax hikes. It also preserves critical programs like Medicare because, again, the greatest threat is doing nothing. If we do nothing, Medicare will simply run out of money. Without action, seniors' benefits will be cut. Under Chairman Ryan's plan, seniors 55 and older would not be affected in any way. That is an important point. For those of us under 55, we must take steps to ensure Medicare will still be around when we retire. It is time for Washington to get serious about the challenges that face our country. This includes putting our fiscal house in order and addressing the soaring gas prices. The greatest threat to our economy, job creation, and the future of our children is to do nothing. We have to act. It is what we were sent to Washington to do. Finally, I would like to take a moment to thank all Americans for the overwhelming support and especially the prayers you have sent to the people of Alabama in the wake of last month's devastating tornadoes. We have needed them, as have the people of Tennessee and all those along the Mississippi dealing with the terrible flooding. It is heartbreaking to see our friends and neighbors go through tough times, but as always, the people of our state are coming together to lend a helping hand to do what needs to be done. I am proud to represent people who care so deeply about their communities. Their perseverance and strength only motivates me more as their representative in Congress. I owe it to them not to let this critical moment pass without acting to ensure the American dream is alive and well for our children and grandchildren. If everyone in Washington felt the same way, we could accomplish a great deal more. Thank you for listening.